Founded in 1891, the Hotchkiss School is an independent boarding school nestled in the beautiful northwest corner of Connecticut. Part of the school's commitment to becoming a carbon neutral campus by 2020, a state-of-the-art biomass central heating facility was built in 2012 to replace an aging steam plant. Located between a golf course and marshes, the new LEED Gold Certified Hotchkiss School Biomass Treatment Center provides heating for the entire preparatory school, which includes 85 buildings and approximately 600 residents. Designed by Centerbrook Architects, the architect of record, the low-profile power plant is sited at the bottom of a sloping landscape and sports a highly visible undulating green roof. The treatment center burns wood chips and reduces greenhouse gas emissions by a third to a half compared to the oil-fired boiler it replaced. In fact, the school has cut a six-figure sum from its winter energy bill. Installed in July 2012 by Apex Green Roofs, the Zinco USA Sedum Carpet Green Roof System on the biomass plant sits on top of a Sika Sarnafil waterproofing membrane. Due to the use of pre-cultivated sedum mats, which were laid directly onto the green roof substrate, the roof was covered by vegetation quickly. Designed for a combination of aesthetics and ecological value, its distinctive wavy living roof captures 50% of the site's rainwater, and bioswells combine with rain gardens to further slow and filter rainwater before it enters the ground. Considered an immediate icon in sustainable commercial construction, the Hotchkiss School's Biomass Treatment Center's serpentine green roof is an exciting addition to an already beautiful campus Campus, merging with the surrounding landscape and protecting nearby wetlands from associated erosion and pollution. For more information about this project and many more, explore the International Green Roof and Green Wall Projects database at greenroofs.com and join our mailing list so you don't miss out on any of the Green Roof and Green Wall news and upcoming projects of the week.